Thank you, Stan, for those words. Uh, the last few weeks, uh, you would recall, we've been talking about following Jesus. And, um, and that goes right along. How do we follow Jesus? We think about others. So thank you. Thank you for that. And our prayer chorus as we sing today, prayer chorus 82, Jesus' name above all names. The Jesus, the Savior that we follow, he is a beautiful Savior. He's a glorious Lord. He's Emmanuel. He's with us. He's a blessed Redeemer. He lives. His word lives. And so sing with me as we prepare our hearts for prayer about Jesus, the one we follow, and how beautiful he is. beautiful Savior, we come before you this morning. Let us pray. Lord, how proud and honored we are to be among men and women who care about the poor and the hungry and the homeless. We inspire each other as we work to make our community and our world a better place for all your children. For the good work of the Salvation Army, staff and volunteers, for the advisory board members, and for all the unspoken and untold acts of kindness and caring they show each day to your children, we ask you to bless the work of their hands, Lord, multiply the work of their hands. We also pray today for those who are helped and nourished by the Salvation Army, who are empowered by the Army to find their purpose in life. We pray for those who are given the resources to take the next step on their journey when no one else seems to care. May they always find here a refuge of hope and love and caring. We know that giving of ourselves to those in need is not only the greatest love we can have, not only the biggest lesson we can learn, but also the part we are designed to play as Christians in our world. Help us, Lord, as we dare to do that. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 